both of our teams, how would you rate your performance in the group stage? And how was the whole experience for you guys so far? Uh, greetings, first of all. Our performance within the group stage, uh, frankly, is a little bit disappointing. Uh, granted, we didn't really get any wins despite our uh, efforts. But uh, as for the experience, it's been humbling here in Manila, Philippines. We, Team Bangladesh, are, and the council, so we're very grateful to have this opportunity yet again presented to us. Very well said. How about you guys? It's also been disappointing for us, uh, but it's also a great experience because uh, we, all, as a team, we didn't have an international experience before. But this is one of the this is a foundation for us, uh, and we get to know firsthand what happens and how to improve next time. So uh, that's it. Uh, we're very grateful for Acer to like uh, give an opportunity for us to represent and. Hopefully, uh, upcoming, in the future, we'll do much better. Alright, thank you so much to both our teams. Our friends from the media may ask questions, you guys. One you find is uh, very hard to win against you. Uh, I think the toughest opposition was uh, Team Aster. They definitely, we were looking at them as the biggest threat. And uh, it was surprisingly that was our best game because we gathered our efforts and we thought, okay, we have to perform uh, way better than the previous two games which we faltered. So it was Team Master, but we had a relative good performance against them. Uh, I think we held our own for a bit, but uh, yeah, it has to be them. Uh, for us, it has to be Bumi Sports. I think they're one of the teams who. Have, uh, Challenged the title of the tournament, so uh, they were. Either way, we lost 3-0, but I think Boom has one of the best preparations of the tournament. So looking forward to their games as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anyone else? Um, I'm just wondering, how's the feeling of playing here in the Philippines? Greetings, <laughs> good uh, sir. It's. Uh, it's fantastic. And, uh, we know the Philippines in particular is very passionate about Dota. We know that. So it, it's been grand. I think every one of the players, they've been excited to play here. And, and uh, it kind of feels like home when we come here and we play Dota in the boots. So for us, I think it's nothing short of spectacular. Philippines, I think this is the best one of the best well, best country for esports uh, because in our country uh, esports doesn't have that much background but here coming here it feels like home as well because uh, esports is so huge here it feels like I want to actually stay here for playing more like, it's very grateful to see the government uh, helping esports here I think it's an example to all the countries which doesn't have uh, support uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's like an example we're very happy to hear that you find you're finding home in the Philippines. Uh, it's an honor to have you guys here. And Sports. Um, in relation to this question, uh, so far, how was, uh, how was your stay here in the Philippines outside this tournament? Um, how are you holding up in the uh, culture? And then, have you tried any food so far? Street food in particular. Uh, the experience outside of the venue itself kind of uh, is reminiscent uh, back in home in Bangladesh a little if I may say so when we go outside and we see a little bit of the traffic <laughs> and the people we feel like okay uh, no we're familiar with this we know this we feel rooted to this so uh, aside from that I believe you guys have still a way better infrastructure compared to us I don't think we've been able to try the street food as much no uh, no but uh, food here has been fantastic. I'm sure outside it'll be great as well. So to answer your question, it's been phenomenal. We really like it here. Uh, and as we said, uh, my Len, it's, it feels like home because uh, everything feels a lot similar, but in a better way. Uh, I'm hoping to come here more for events or tourism, anything. And the food, uh, we haven't got much to try, but we will try because we still have one or two days left. So we are looking forward to it. 
Yeah, let us know what you think about the food when you guys try them. But I think we have one more question over there. Go ahead, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Enzo for uh, Metropolar. Uh, talking about being passionate, guys, um, are we going to expect trash talking here in your uh, games? And since you are in a foreign land, will it be tamed or more wild? <laughs> Enzo, that's a nice name. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. No, we, we're already uh, out of the competition, both of us, both our teams, unfortunately. But um, uh, we're very passionate about the game, so sometimes in our own languages it, it can get heated, but we're very pro. We, we like to keep it professional, we like to channel the, the spirit of gaming, even if, if it's a little trash talk, it's in between us all the time, you know? But uh, yeah, yeah, so we like to keep it 100% professional, and so. Toxicity is part of the game, so that brings the fun out of it. So I think there is a little toxicity, but not, it's just professional. It has to be professional, that's it. Not outside the game, it's just inside the game, we have fun, that's it. But not, not hardcore. Just don't take it personally. Yeah, no personally. Thank you. All right, anyone else? Thank you so much to our teams. Okay, go ahead, sir. Good afternoon, my name is Azrael from Azrael's Maryland blog. Uh, my question is, oh, I hope you can answer HD. What is your strongest link, or what is your strength of the city you're representing your country? Uh, what, what, is, what is your best that doesn't have any, uh, that does not present in other teams? So what is your strongest link uh, in, in, as an esports player? I think there's, just two small parts to this. Number one is uh, the group here. I mean, uh, they're a little bit young, but we're really old. So we've been playing together for a long time. So we're not just friends, we're all brothers. And uh, so uh, every time we lose, we get into arguments where we come right back and we feel like, okay, this is like a second, this is family to us. And the second one is we're quite unpredictable, which hurts us as well. You know, when we go against the big teams, they're like, what are these guys doing? Uh, I have no idea. And then they just beat us up. But aside from that, those two, I would say, uh, are our outstanding qualities. For us, it has to be the unity. We all are friends, and we are like a one family, and we will be always stick together. That's the best thing, because uh, we don't have any like toxicity between us. Uh, we always uh, express ourselves. Uh, if we have going through any trouble, we speak out. We don't keep it. And that's, I think, one of the good traits. And we don't, we do want to win, but if even if we lose, it doesn't matter. As long as we're together, I think uh, we're stronger. We love to hear it. And I Thank think you. that is all the time we have for the question and answer. Thank you, guys.